Morning, everybody. Welcome to Grid Life, the paddock of Grid Life, as it were. Motorsports and Music Festival South here in Atlanta. We got Ludacris coming on tonight. We got racing, drifting, time attack. It is craziness out there. It's also about a thousand degrees. So we're doing this one in the air conditioning. And uh, this is Ryan. Thank you for joining me, sir, with the uh, most interesting car in the show. <laughs> Lexus LS 400 wide body VIP. It's a little different, yeah. And it does not look like the car of a white kid from Georgia like you. Alabama, Al actually, Oh, excuse yeah. me, Alabama. I apologize. <laughs> it's, it's all good. That's even more random. Yeah. I saw this car, and I was like, yes. This <laughs> was an instant yes. Other cars I had to consider, this was a yes. So, this is a VIP build. Tell me everything about it. So, uh, it's basically uh, LS400, all stock except a straight pipe engine-wise. Um, except a straight pipe? Yeah, completely straight pipe. So, is it a 96 like mine? It is a 95. 95. Close enough, same engine every Gen day. one and a half. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite loud. Wow, that's the one you see is oh, really... Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay, straight pipe. Yeah, straight piped. And then that's as far as it goes uh, engine modification-wise. Um, and then case board air struts, airlift V2 management, uh, Fire compressors, basic three gallon tank, two three gallon tanks, uh, custom wide body, retarded wide, VSKFs. Is that made of metal or is that glass? It's all metal. It's all, all metal, metal yeah, wide body. All metal wide body. Doors, wow. jams, everything. Wow. Okay. And uh, and the floral uh, shifter or uh, the swirly <laughs> mocha latte shifter. Yeah, it's like something around Starbucks. And the nard the, the nardy steering wheel, which is like actually kind of a sport item. Yeah. Um, okay, so you told, so this is, it's air struts, right? Yeah. So not an air bag, it's actually a shock, a hydraulic yeah, shock. Yeah, it's a full case board air strut. They sell them as like a set. Um, yeah. And then got them paired with the airlift management because at the time airlift didn't make struts for this car. So it had to piece stuff together. Okay. But uh, it all came together pretty well. All right, so I don't even want to drive on the street. I just honestly want to drive around the paddock. We're just going to roll and see what it's like. So you have the air controller. So we're, yes, we're chassis on ground right now. Yeah, we're slammed. Framed out. Can't so when, it, when it's framed down, how do you describe a VIP build? You used some terminology um, before that I don't know about. So let's go, wait, let's do it on the move. So let's go up right, to yeah. where we can drive. Oh, it's the best. Oh, it's the best. What feels better, going up or going down? I like the down. down. Yeah, down, down, down is, is be... way more satisfying. Okay, so now we're at drive height? Yeah, you okay, can go wherever you want. Okay, now we're at drive height. Oh, this is awesome. Park brake is off. Okay. So, 177,000 miles. It's like a spring chicken, really, as far as Lexus's go. Yeah. Listen to that. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. This is hilarious. I'm gonna adjust that just a little bit. How does? Okay, so you I, you said you have to do something to turn. So since the front wheels are 11 negative 52. That's the that's the terminology. What does that mean? So uh, offset basically. Uh, if you have an 11 inch wide wheel, right, and it's at zero offset, it means there's five and a half sticking out from the center where the where it bolts up to the rotor, and then five and a half inches going inside. Right. So it's negative 52. So basically, it sticks two inches more outwards. So okay. seven inch lip in the front, and then 10 inch lip in the back. Bro, this is hysterical. Isn't it great? Yeah, we're just gonna. That's oh, right. oh, and by the way, uh, you don't actually have any working taillights right now because the taillights are in show mode. So yeah, it was like blah, 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 the blah, full day. Yeah. And then is this exhaust like a four inch back? Those pipes. It are... is actually. It's pretty small. It's a. Uh, it's two and a quarter inch all the way back. Catless. That. It's very subtle. Oh yeah, you you definitely can sneak around for sure. I gotta I gotta turn down the sensitivity on the mic because we're. We're blowing them out here with this one. This is hilarious. We'll be back. She, she was confused. She, she knows we'll be back in the car show in a it's minute. Okay. We got to roll first. Dude, this is what's up. Do people like it? Like. Uh, okay, so like is a very uh, relative term. <laughs> Yeah. Confused is the is the main one I'd describe people's faces and reactions. I understand the confusion. That makes sense. We're the we're the paddock of Road Atlanta right now, rolling around in the tunnel. We're gonna go under turn uh oh, you turn A and B. Most quite definitely give her give her a rev. A rev under the tunnel. Oh look at look at this. Yeah, this is that's his name is Dylan Lord. Is he on bags too? No, really? he's static. That's static. Oh my god. Ah. As a he had some <laughs> wheel spin over that. Uh, wow, that was. 
That was a truly low vehicle. Oh yeah, he's static. He's really cool. He's a so good what guy. So what are you what are you messing with right so now? So right now I'm setting basically it's pressure based uh, air ride system. So uh, right now we're at 115 or so psi in the front bags uh -huh. and like 75 or so in the rear. Basically to air it up to get over these speed bumps to get over to the paddock of the lane. Right now? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, we got heavy camper, at, right? at the drive height, it is negative 10 and negative 12. Look at Vanilla Ice in this 5.0. I love it. <laughs> I love it, bro. He had the white seats in that yes. shit, too. Thank <laughs> bro, this is hot. Can I, I mean, say cocaine interior on the camera? Yes, you okay, can. Okay, cool. <laughs> this is it's like, all my Atlanta Drift Boys. This is like a car that I kind of hate, but also kind of love. Like, yo, what's up, boys? Yeah, I know literally all of them. Vape crowd, vape crowd, what up, vape crowd? So you like, you know, I, I drive a lot of cars that have like AccuAir air management, yeah, it's airbags, and that that kind of automatically does it. You're yeah. manually. Yeah, I manually do. Well, this this airlift doesn't. It, the calibration function's broken. So everyone's face. I know. It's just great. it's just a what the it's a what the literally, hell face. Literally, what the fuck? You like, know what I'm gonna do right now? I want to take my personal motorsport paddock pass and we're going to drive this thing down through where the race cars are and we're going to see what the rate i got i'm turning right adjust air uh, it's we're oh we're, we're good up. are we as high as we go in the front yes yeah buddy that's is what's up these guys have respect <laughs> that is that the is that was the, brad is that's the mating call of, yeah basically of <laughs> those on are they, these are Technically, these are hydraulics, right? No, it's all air, air so suspension. Airlift is different from hydraulics. Yeah, it is 100% air, no liquid or anything being Oh, yeah, because hydraulics use a hydraulic yeah. fluid. Yeah, okay, that's I'm, I'm an idiot. Sorry. Oh, you're good. And then you've got your, your tires, it's a stretch look, right? Yeah. So, so go ahead. Yeah, so the front is a, an 11 wide with a 245-35, which if you tell that to like anyone at like a discount tire. You tell these guys right. down at the racetrack what bet that you're running that, they're going to look at you like you got three heads, right? Yeah, they'll be like, why, why are you doing that? Hello, love. Uh, dude, so it actually rides kind of nice. It's decent, yeah. right? Everybody says, oh, that must ride like shit. It's like, no, it's actually not too bad. Don't but, worry about it. But this is a pure show car for you. Yeah, I, so it stays in a warehouse. It, well, it sucks because I used to daily it back whenever it was on air and had the kit and everything in the wing, but, but before wide body, I used to daily it. But now it just sits in a warehouse and stuff. It's all protected, got better show car insurance and everything. But mainly the reason I don't drive is because there's so much camber at the drive height to fit these gargantuan wheels. Uh huh. But can, what, if I wanted to go on the highway right now, oh yeah, totally. And, and could, drive it down the highway. Oh yeah, it's fine. 80, right? 90 all day. It's, and it's good at doing. Okay, I'm just gonna go over here. Yeah, that's fine. And it's good for that. Oh gosh, these race guys, boys are gonna be very confused. You don't think the race car drivers are gonna like this? I mean, hang on, we'll just roll the window down and find out. That's cool. You guys are about this, right? No, they're not. They're not about it. I don't think they were about it. It's okay. It's not for everybody. Some of these people are just like, "What are you doing in this paddock? Go back. Go <laughs> no, back to the you. show car. Go. This no, is it's our show area. Wrong, go wrong back area. to your area. So, okay. Uh, VIP kit and wide body aside, has your 177,000 mile LS 400 treated you well? Oh, I love it. There's never been a single issue once ever. That'll ever. happen. You did mention. The uh, alternator is a the, the alternator, alternator, right? There's That's, a lot. There's a lot of drain going on with excuse it. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. You guys, are you guys about this? Yeah. No, they were very confused. <laughs> this baby is not about it, yeah. or are they? Miles, you guys about this? They're yeah. about it. Yeah, they're about no, this. The brother, the brothers are definitely about it. This is hilarious. <laughs> I want to put it in low. I don't, oh, dude, want, yeah. I don't want it upshifting. Dude, That's yeah. bullshit. What about the ladies? No, she. You see her face? She's a. She was. She was so displeased. Hey guys, what do you think? Are you about it? Air out. Air out. <laughs> Air it out. Air it out. Make the noise. What's up? Dude, this is fire. Right? You're just gonna. That sounds good. Yo, I'm gonna have to get one of these. <laughs> Bro, your car is hilarious. <laughs> Yo, what you know about this? 
right? Yes! Yes! These, this side of the paddock is they, about it. They understand it. We need to find... Dude, that's pussy shit. All the way up. Excuse me! Dude, yeah. Put her this is seat. ill. I gotta go. Thanks. Nice car. Dude. No, this is fire. See? Okay. We're in a good place now. Isn't it great? The first half of the paddock was very confused. The second half of the paddock really loved it. Oh, yeah. It. They loved it. I almost want to stop at the Beeline tent to get a coffee here. You can you Dude, let's lay frame right in front of the Beeline. Oh, yeah. For Beeline sure. coffee is the official coffee of the smoking tire. We're going to lay frame right in front of the Beeline tent. Boom! May we have a coffee, please? Two coffees. Which one do you want? Columbians. Two Colombians. Two Colombians. We're oh. filming. We'll be right back when we have a coffee. Beeline nitro brewed coffee. Wait, we gotta. We have to adjust the air. Oh, we're already up. Yeah, boy. Bro, this car is hot. <laughs> right? I'm about it too. I know. I know. How does this trooper feel about it? Are they oh, call them troopers here? Don't show them the window tint. Oh, let's <laughs> keep them windows down. This is, dude, so this is really what this car does. Exactly. It rolls around paddocks in a, in a baller manner. Exactly. Are we, oh, we got, yeah, we got an easy, like, eight or nine degrees of camber in the back, right? Yeah, 12 at right 12 height. 12 at right height. So, how many set... First off, what do you have to set your tire pressures at to 60. ride on it? 60 PSI. Really? So do you get good fuel economy? I mean, can you really, can you really genuinely like make the calculations for fuel economy in a car like this? Like seriously? <laughs> no, I'm just curious yeah. because like on I the one hand, every, every, everything you do about riding on the edge of that tire is terrible. Oh yeah. I'm just trying to find awful. a positive. I mean, honestly. If I did the fuel economy calculations and stuff, it probably gets about the same. The only difference that really makes it shitty would be the, the catless, it, you know, cat delete stuff. You smell it? Yeah, <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. But I'm also smelling that Beeline Colombian coffee. Oh, yes. Which is very nice in the nitro brew. This is a, it's it's kind of a shit show here, but it's... Oh, it's, yeah, it's, it's pretty disorganized. No, no, the, gin, the, the gingerman one is disorganized. This is much more organized. Oh my god, dude. I, like, I completely understand this car as a show car. Isn't it great? Yeah, it is. Like, it's, there's, people are too serious, right? Exactly. And as a laugh, this is the best laugh you could have in a car, probably. Seriously. It's like, just about the best. <laughs> you could, you could get, like, a really dangerous and terrible, like, $200 car that's, like, falling apart. You could have a laugh in that. Or you could have a laugh in this and and it's it's a respectable people. laugh. Yeah. Because it's like, oh well, at least you put time and money and effort into it, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, what should, what is there is there something that you think people should know about VIP that they don't know? Honestly, with this car? It's, it frustrates me because I don't have much interior stuff going on, but that's next. I definitely need to get interior stuff unlocked for it to be true VIP. Mm -hmm. But all in all, if you want to do a VIP car, the whole thing is just like, let's just say for example, if you just like, oh, I want to try plastic in my wheels. It's like, no, don't do that. Like, yeah, like the, the whole thing is with this car, it's yeah, it's really funny, but like it's well done. At least if you're going to do something, execute it well. There's no say. real, there's no like real cheap way to do a VIP. Oh no, there's not. Exactly. Like, because it kind of, it looks real crappy if you don't do it right. Like even exactly, if, yeah. even if you don't agree with the style, like if you wouldn't do this to your own car, and like I wouldn't do this to my own car. Exactly. But like, you kind of have to, it at least needs to be done to some kind of a quality standard. Exactly. That's hilarious, man. Absolutely hilarious. <laughs> oh, she was. This is so cool. All right. Well, that's a video. We're going to leave you guys with this. Great Life South.
car show, racing, drifting, time attack, and cars. There's a bunch of cars like Ryan's VIP build. People rolling around, having a laugh, waiting till the sun goes down until you can get really, really drunk. There's that too. That Camp is, it out. It's crazy. There's oh yeah. like, what do we got? Scions on bags, Stance Miatas, there's drift cars. There's everything. It's craziness at Grid Life. This is fun. Thanks, Ryan. Cheers on this coffee. This is very good. And uh, to those not understanding the VIP builds, I understand you. But you gotta, you gotta remember, sometimes it's just good for a laugh. Exactly. And uh, it looks cool when it's laying frame. <laughs> it is hilar it's hilarious when it's laying frame. And if you wanna, if you wanna get a reaction out of somebody, that is a good way to do it. Until next time. See you guys later.